So today's lesson is how to start inputting tasks into a schedule. And the most critical thing that you have to do first, this one segment, is going to talk about getting the right view. Now typically you can come down here in this drop down box and input in the, whether it's a start milestone, all the different parameters associated with a schedule. What part of the WBS it's in, uh, standard workday week, so on, so on, so forth. Okay? You can also come to this tab and do predecessors and successors. I have found, however, that it is much quicker to get this particular column set up properly and then do it through the columns and not down here. So this view is very important that you get this accurate. So when you're setting up a, a project, you're going to want to have the activity name, the original duration, remember the start and finish, these are the projected dates so they auto calculate. You're going to want to see the calendar and if you just want to minimize the size of the column, you just take here and click and you're going to want to see the activity codes. Now, I know for a fact that there's more than one activity code on this project. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here, we're going to click the Columns button, and we're going to hit Customize. And notice that P6 has activity codes all in one place, just for your convenience. Wasn't that nice of them? So we're going to send this over this way, and we're going to put it exactly where we want it, which is right behind the Master Project code. Okay, we're going to hit apply, OK, and notice now you have all your activity codes that you want to use for the project. So before you finish, notice up here it says layout, and I've given it a special name. Now, I don't know if we've covered this yet or not, but whenever you make a custom layout, I always recommend that you use your initials and then give it a custom name here because it's easier to find in the layout view. So we're going to hit the drop down bu button. We're going to open it. We're going to save it. We're going to save as. Now your default tells you it can either be all users, another user, current user, project. I always click all users. That way once I save a layout I can use it on any project. So I'm going to put here, I'm going to leave it, LKC3331 project setup hit save. Now I know that I can go and pull upon this anytime and I'll show you what I mean. Layout, open, we're going to go pull another one. Let's go to the classic WBS layout. Notice all of a sudden my screen changed drastically. Everything changed. I didn't like that. So I'm going to come back here, layout, open, I don't want to save this. It's already been saved. Okay. Click on that. Apply. Okay. And there we are. So now you can see that you've got different filters that you can use on different projects. And it makes it very easy for you to be able to customize your views and make it quicker for your input. So that's what we're going to talk about in this short segment. The next segment will be on actually inputting data into your schedule. Thank you.